In 2003, I was a researcher in MSR Redmond. I started the India internship program. We got about 45 or so applications, nominations from faculty in India uh, for students who are potential interns. These were undergraduate students as opposed to the usual PhD interns in Redmond. And Pushmeet Kohli was one of the interns in the first batch. I was born in Dehradun. There, this is this valley town in the foothills of the Himalayas uh, in North India. I ended up studying in this sort of uh, university in South India, this National Institute of Technology, Varangal. That's where I did my computer science and engineering degree. Now, when I went to that uh, college, you have to understand that uh, for the first 17 years of my life, I had sort of lived in a circle of uh, 50 kilometers. Pushmeet is a very, very bright student. I mean, I think that his career you know, speaks for itself. Uh, he was a great find. One day, out of the blue, I get this email from a research scientist in Microsoft Research Treatment. And the email read like this. Uh, Pushmeet, uh, I like your CV. Uh, I'm looking for interns uh, through this MSR India program. And uh, I would like to interview you. I was quite intimidated. I mean, this is proper research. And uh, two days later, I'm on a flight from Delhi to Amsterdam to Seattle. Pushmeet was an interesting case. He actually came with the expectation that he would work on computer vision, but we had placed him in the software engineering area. And I meet uh, Wolfram uh, Schulte, and he basically tells me that, oh, Pushmeet, what we are going to work on is testing device drivers. So I told him, I have no clue what you're talking about. I have not worked on device drivers. And he said, no, 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 you will see. You will see. There is a connection. And there was a meeting with some very senior developers and uh, this researcher. And they were talking about all the problems that could happen and how difficult this problem is. At the end of this meeting, uh, basically my uh, manager said, don't worry, we'll resolve all these uh, sort of questions. We have a new intern, Pushmeet. At the end of this internship, all these things will be resolved. And I was thinking, what is he talking about? So I go back to Anandan and I tell him, Anandan, there has been a big mistake. So initially he was a little unhappy about it, uncomfortable with it. So he came to me and said, I really want to work in computer vision. I said, okay, let me see if I can figure out a way to do this. And when I come back, came back from Anandan's office, uh, my manager came back and said, OK, Pushmeet, this is what we want. This is the architecture. And this is how we are going to test the device driver. So that was maybe Thursday or Friday. And on Monday, I had a, I had a first sort of run. So the manager came in to sort of check uh, on what I had done. And I showed him, OK, this is the piece of code I, I wrote. And then I did a test, and it was, trying, it was able to find some bugs. And he was like, this is it. This was what we wanted What we wanted to do in that three-month internship. I was like, that's easy now, <laughs> so that's, that's done. He had changed his mind. He came to me and said, no, I really like what I'm doing in this group, so I want to continue to work there. And after that, you know, he was fine. The managers uh, and the research team told me that I should be thinking about a PhD. The uh, intern project that Pushmeet did when he came back in 2006 uh, was with a team of three other people, including Andrew Fitzgibbon. An internship is typically blue skies research. It's some idea that we don't yet know if it's going to work. We have no idea whether or not it's going to be in a product, but it's some of scientific interest or it'll make the world a better place if we solve the problem. And what they produced is, um, I think, one of the most beautiful things I've seen um, coming out of the lab. Um, they called it Unwrap Mosaic. And what's going on is a detailed analysis of a movie in terms of its three-dimensional structure. So, for example, we had one clip in which somebody was walking through a space. You take one frame, draw a moustache on the person's face, and now that moustache is in, is in every frame of the movie looking right, even when the person turns around. It's fully three-dimensional. It's an amazing effect. And after that, he joined MSR Cambridge, and he's really risen up to be one of our you know, most talented young researchers in computer vision and machine learning area. My first internship was nine years ago. From that time now, I have supervised around 15 interns already. So <laughs> it's it's interesting experience to be on the other side of the fence and you're trying to live up to the standards that were set by your mentors <laughs> during your internships. And 
you know, the quality of researchers that we have is so good that they get exposed to probably the best in the world in every area that they work on. So not only do they learn by doing research, but also become very familiar with the way researchers work and a broad range of people of very high quality. Just being in the organization and being able to sort of talk to people who are so passionate about their sort of projects and they are so willing to actually not only work with you, but also teach you the things that you would want to learn. I think that is something unique. Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available.